Hi guys, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a small guide on Rocket League. Uh, my last guide, I think it was like three years ago about this game, so a lot of stuff changed. So we will do it right away. So first of all, we wanna make sure that Windows is properly optimized for your game, and after that, we will go inside of the game. So first of all, write game mode in your search bar, open your game mode. This is the first thing that you really need to make sure that game mode is at on. Before I was saying that uh, you need to remove it, it was causing a lot of issue. And now it's a lot better. Uh, they give like priority for your CPU, so which core to use to make sure that uh, you're using like the best core on your CPU to have the more uh, FPS. So definitely go with on. If you have some random issue with stuttering, I recommend to remove the game mode just to test. And if you feel that your game is better this is pretty much probably because of game mode uh, i had a lot of issue before with the game mode but now it seems to be fixed after that the xbox game bar i recommend to put this one at off and i also recommend to like don't use any overlay so the discord overlay nvidia overlay amd whatever overlay that you're currently using make sure that you disable this and uh, the capture make sure that your background recording is at off recorded audio is at off if you have the uh, a version of NVIDIA video card, like 1000 series or above, and the latest version of Windows, you can write GPU in your search bar, open your graphics setting, and make sure that the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. You will need to restart your computer to make sure this one is applied. It's really important because uh, it will not apply if you don't restart your computer. Another thing that, that is really important is your GPU driver. Make sure that you update your driver, so NVIDIA, AMD, even Intel. If you're using an integrated GPU on your processor, go on the Intel website, download the, the graphic parameter, uh, by the drivers for, for your graphics. Uh, don't like just update your <laughs> graphic parameter with uh, the Windows update. You really need to go on the Intel website. Another thing that I recommend with NVIDIA, go to your control panel. And you have pretty much the same thing on AMD. And in the Manage 3D setting, make sure that you're using in the Power Management mode the Prefer Maximum Performance. Really important. Uh, don't go with other uh, like don't go with the Adaptative or Optimal Power. Prefer Maximum Performance is the one to go. One more thing, it's about uh, the energy plan of your computer. I will not show it. I have like another uh, video dedicated on that in your search bar. Uh, normally on a uh, desktop PC, you don't have an issue. You will use the balance energy plan or the Ryzen energy plan if you're using a Ryzen. But if you're using a laptop, make sure that you're using the um, balance or high performance one it's really important some laptop even when you're plugging it in in the wall they're staying at eco mud and in the eco mud your uh, um, gpu and even cpu will not reach their maximum uh, performance like megahertz wise so uh, really important to use uh, high performance or balance for your laptop so now let's go inside of the game so now inside of the game go to settings video the first thing that you need to make sure is uh, to play with your native resolution. So really de depend on your monitor. We're here, me, I'm playing at uh, 1080p, 16 by 9. So really important. Display mode, really important to play full screen. You will lose 3 to 4% in your FPS if you're playing a window and like 2% borderless. So really important to use the full screen with this one. Also, don't, uh, don't check your vertical sync. You don't want to create any input lag. So this is why you need to uncheck this one. For anti-aliasing, the first uh, graphic parameter, uh, this one, if you do don't mind about your uh, aliasing when you're playing, you can definitely go at off, you will have more FPS, but if you want to use an anti-aliasing, I recommend the FXAA, really depend again on your uh, computer, so if you have like a very low end computer, go with FXAA low, you will have, uh, like, you will have like it 3%. So uh, you will lose 3% of your FPS, but you have uh, an, a nice, decent anti-aliasing. And if you're using I, you're like more losing like 5%. Don't go with MLAA or SMAA. You will lose like 8 to 10% in your FPS. So I don't recommend those. So it's pretty much FXAI, FXAA low or remove it. Render quality, this one I'm playing at high quality. You can also go with quality, but honestly, uh, you will see that your image quality decreases a lot like very quickly <laughs> i don't use performance or high performance honestly do the old guide and if you still don't get whatever the objective that you have like for an example 60 fps on an old laptop 
You will probably need to uh, lower this one, but this one should be last resort. So me, I'm using uh, right now high quality. Uh, render quality, you can stay at custom. Frame per second, I uncap, but you can lock it if you want, if you don't uh, want to use too much resources on your computer. After that, texture detail. This one is really important also and not a huge impact. So me, I'm going with high quality. Honestly, if you have like more than three gig of VRAM on your uh, GPU, you can definitely go with quality. Two gig, you can go at quality. And less than two gig, you will probably need to go at performance uh, for texture detail. World detail, this one I recommend performance. Uh, it's it's also for your visibility, less distraction in your image, and it's not really important. It's the world detail, and it will give you a nice 6% boost in your FPS. Particle also, same thing, go with um, performance. It's not really important, the pa particle in the game, it will not uh, change a lot your image quality, and your FPS will be a lot more stable, so that's why I'm using performance for this one. Effect int intensity, go with low intensity. Uh, again, less distraction, it's not a big thing. Uh, the one that you really want to use, honestly, is the render quality, high quality. And this one, high quality shader. Uh, when you uncheck it, it's crazy. Like your image quality decreases a lot. So I really recommend to use this one also to have like a nice image. And uh, transparent gold pose, depending on if you want it. All those parameters, just uncheck them. It will give you a lot of FPS. Waiter effect, uh, will. it's really important. Ambient occlusion also will give you a nice amount of FPS. Uh, dynamic shadow, bloom. So it's a lot of important stuff. Just uncheck everything. And you will have a, a now like a really good Rocket League for performance and also visibility. So it's really important. When you uh, finish this, you just click Applied and you go back. So this is pretty much it, guys, for uh, the uh, guide for Rocket League Season 3. Uh, if you have any question, just come in, in the YouTube section, post me your rigs, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.